Hi, I'm Patricia Bermudez Hizon, and I'm a mom of three. I have two teenage boys, 18 and 16, and I have a three-year-old toddler girl who is a super energetic girl, and I have to match that kind of energy. Um, right now, I'm the CEO of Plus Network, that means Chief Enabling Officer, and that's really what I do. I enable people to do what they can uh, within what the network requires and what this media agency requires. Uh, after coming from many years of being a sportscaster, two decades of being a sportscaster, I now also train other women with this program from ABC Australia called Women in News and Sport. And I am one of their mentors and international trainers. Apart from all of this, and even from wearing this beautiful dress, I'm actually very used to wearing a military outfit. I'm actually um, a sailor. I am part of the Philippine Naval Reserve. And one of the things that I love to do is that I get to use my skill sets and I get to stretch myself while I serve the country. Uh, I'm one to actually want to help different communities. So being in the Philippine Navy Reserves really fits um, these desires that I have. Right, Patrice? How do you manage being a hands-on mom and a girl boss at the same time? That's an interesting question. It really is difficult, nearly impossible to do, especially when you're prioritizing both. Something's going to give. So you really have to understand what's most important to you. Um, a job and a career, yes, it'll be there. It gives somewhat of a significance in your life. Yes, yes. So, um, yes, being a boss actually comes with a lot of prestige and it's wonderful, uh, with a lot of great benefits and somewhat you feel important. But to me, uh, it's not a question of managing one or the other or prioritizing one over the other because my children will always come first. My family will always come first. And it's that fact that they know that too that gives them a lot of security. And I actually can do a lot more things because my children um, feel very confident in everything that they do and they know that no matter what, mom will love them, mom will support them, and mom will accept them. And I think that is really a big secret to how you can actually manage everything. You just have to be great at one thing. You don't have to be perfect and great at everything. And for me, I've decided to try to be, to try my best to be the best mom that I can be for my children. And being a girl boss can follow up to that. Because if I'm not great at home, I don't think I'll thrive in any other aspect of my life. So it's not a matter of balancing, but it's a matter of making everything else harmonious by putting the right priority. First things Mama, first. Mama. Yes. <gasps> Can you read this for me, Father? Okay. Patrice, Patrice, Patrice. Hello, you're Gigi. What's your best advice, Patrice? Best advice that you can give to moms? Mm -hmm. Respectfully nice. Respectfully nice. Sparkly eyes for mom? Oh, for you. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so, what's your best advice that you can give to fellow moms? You cannot give what you don't have. You cannot give love. You cannot give attention. You cannot tell your children to be one or the other if you're not modeling that. And if you're not that, you can't give love if you don't have love, if you don't feel love, and if you're not... You know, you don't have the capacity to love yourself. That's going to be a little difficult. But it also applies to other things. You know, you can't tell your children that they have to be one thing when you yourself, you're not modeling that very same character or that trait. So I think for moms, uh, the best advice that I can give is just be you. Be authentic. Um, there's a reason why God made you you the way you are, put you in the circumstance that you are in put you in situations that you are in because he meant for you to be that way. Maybe for us to grow from where we are, but I think what's best for us mom is to remember that we are not perfect. We have to accept and love ourselves because when we do, then we get rid of the guilt. We get rid of the pressure. Of course, there's always going to be pressure, but there's going to be unnecessary pressure that you can just throw out the window just so it's going to be a lot more easier to be yourself. So love yourself, accept yourself, and have a lot of self-respect that comes along with it because you cannot preach any of those 
if you don't apply that in your own life. So remember that modeling is the best teacher. So be your authentic self so that your children can be their, their authentic selves as well. When you think of Una Ritchie, what comes to mind? Or for you, what best describes Una Ritchie? Okay, when I first um, encountered Una Ritchie, I thought, wow, these clothes are so empowering. Only because they make you feel as a woman, not even as a mom, but as a woman, they really make you feel beautiful. It, it hugs your, your silhouette. It makes you feel comfortable in clothes that are so classy and classic in design as well. Even if Una Ricci only has a limited number of pieces per design, I still think that uh, it's something that all women would want to have and would want to embrace because they're they're going to feel more comfortable in this the pieces that Una Ricci actually offers. So what I love about it is these are clothes that are both empowering, that are beautiful, that are really classy and something that you can continuously wear. It's not one of those that, yeah, you pick off the rack and you'll just wear it on special occasions. That's what I love about Una Ricci, actually. I find myself and the character of Una Ricci to be somewhat similar. Um, we adapt, uh, we change, but at the end of the day, uh, we still just remain true to ourselves. And I think that's what Una Ricci celebrates about the women that they dress. They allow them to be themselves, but really, enhance their true character. So I think that's what I love about Una Ritchie.